It's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2024 Escape PHEV. That means a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle and you have the plug-in port, it comes with a charge cord and as well, it uses fuel. So when you're idling or about to propel, that's when you're gonna use the battery. You have regenerative braking, meaning when you're braking, that energy goes back into the lithium ion battery. You also have a twin panel moonroof and this has a 2.5 liter Atkinson hybrid engine, automatic transmission, and it's a front wheel drive. You also have this nice class two trailer tow hitch in the rear and many more features. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. Storage and speaker in the door and you're seeing the B&O badging for your audio system, power locks, windows and mirrors and memory for three drivers. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar and you have carpeted mats on the floor, liftgate release, gas cap release and your lighting controls. And then on the face of the steering wheel, we have our lane keeping, cruise control, volume, menu and hands-free dialing. And this is a push start. So foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On the dash, any important messages, the odometer reading and your menu will come up as well. And in the center, you have your display screen. So it's just loading right at the moment. And we can go into settings. We're going to see the different options. We can change the look of the display screen and slide through for wherever we want. These all have sub menus. And we can go back home. And then again, we have this menu. Our map is loading. And we can also go into features because we have the navigation there, that's why the map. We also have the drive modes. So as weather and road conditions change, you can go into different options. So you've got normal, eco, sport, and slippery. So these will change the icons and it'll also change the drive mode to give you more or less traction or control. And then you can go back out of that as well. And this is where we're gonna see our backup camera view. So when we're um, putting the vehicle in reverse, we're gonna see behind us, center line, green, yellow, red, just how close we are to other objects or vehicles. This is just a protective cover. And here we are in space, okay? So let's put us back into park. We have dual climate control and dual uh, heated and cooled seats, sorry, on each side. Heated steering wheel, and we have our front and rear defrost as well as our AC. There's our hazard lights, and then down below we have our parking assist, and there's our camera. Now we're not in gear, this is giving us a forward view. So before we take off, we can see what's ahead of us, and again, where we are in space. That's a 360 camera. There's your uh, front defrost as well as your drive mode. So you can do it on the screen, you can do it down here. USB-C and USB, as well as a 12 volt and a wireless charging pad. Electronic parking brake is located here. That's your dial shifter. Electronic hold, the auto hold. So if you're on an incline or you're towing, and this has a class two trailer tow hitch, you would use the auto hold to keep you in place. And little cubbies and cup holders. The armrest opens up, lots of room in there. You also have your glove compartment off to the side. Auto dimming rear view mirror, your lighting controls, universal garage door opener. And we have our twin panel moonroof which is a panoramic vista roof, as well as the power screen. So you can open that up, get some fresh air if you want, some more light. And then you've got your uh, sunglass holder and grab handle just on the side, making it easier to get in. This is a plug-in hybrid, so it has a plug-in port. We just press the door and it'll open up. This will go completely blue, letting you know it's fully charged, and then close it up and you're ready to go. 18 inch wheels, mud flap, and you're seeing the plug-in charge port as well. You have a body color door handle with intelligent access, meaning when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors. And there's a little bit of a spoiler and a windshield wiper, and in the back, you've got your backup camera just below the escape badge, as well as backup sensors on your bumper and a class two trailer tow hitch. When you're ready to open up that lift gate, just simply double click your fob. It'll power it up. You've got this nice all weather mat, and you also have a tonneau cover. This unclips easily for you. And you've also got a 12 volt off to the side, clips and tabs to be able to tether things. And when you wanna close it up, there's a handle, but you can also push the button and then it'll go down slowly for you. You can then lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Storage and speaker in the door, as well as power windows. They're seating for three with a 60-40 split. You simply pull the lever and the seat will come right down. You now have access to the back cargo area. You've got this nice all weather mat and a tonneau cover. And on the back of the seats are anchors to be able to tether baby seats. And then just give it a push back into the upright position. There's an armrest with a couple of cup holders. You've got carpeted mats on the floor, slim pockets on the back of the front seat, your air vents, and and your outlets USB down below a twin panel moonroof it's a panoramic vista roof is what they call it and you've got lighting and hooks and handles off to the side 
power lift gate in the rear, privacy glass in the back windows with window vents, roof rails, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments.